Hi, this is Jim Gallen with Chicago White Metal Casting. We wanted to give you a brief overview of the miniature zinc die casting process. We generally start with the concept of the part. What you're seeing on the screen right now is the concept for a part that we recently produced. Um, gives you a couple of views of it here. This view here is showing you the solid modeled mold design that we create prior to actually cutting the tool. Here's the completed tool showing both the cavity and core sides, showing the runner inlets, the cavity features, etc. These machines operate on the principle of four slide or what we sometimes call multi-slide. That means that the machine is capable of moving in up to four different directions. In this case, we're using two of those directions to produce this part. The die opens and closes to the right and left, as you see right here, producing two parts per shot. In between each shot, there is a short burst of air, a short burst of dye lubricant to release the part, and then the parts fall into a bin, ready to move on to the next operation. One of the possibilities with this process is in-die degating. In-die degating allows you to separate the gates and runners from the actual part. Watching it in slow motion here, you can see how first the gate and runner is ejected, and then the part is ejected. One of the advantages of, of miniature zinc die casting is how quickly you can produce parts. And you can produce them very accurately. The parts are now into the basket and ready to be degated, tumbled, finished, and move on to the next operation.